Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? So, a little bit of a project today. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get it all finished today, but uh, anyways, let's go uh, have a look what we're going to be maybe trying to do most of today if we can. I've uh, got a funeral in just right now and then finish that up and then the wife's got some projects for me and then uh, those projects will <coughs> lead me to going to Princess Auto to get my hoses fixed too, which is nice. But uh, anyways, this uh, project for today is removing the seat on the 2720 uh, to, uh, as you've seen the sandblaster there, to sandblaster and uh, paint her up. So, uh, yeah, this started peeling at the top here. I guess some water got under here and then kept pushing itself down and flaking off all the, the powder coat, right? So there's no primer under there's nothing. You can see the, the little layers that's pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and ate through it and made kind of a mess. So I pretty much got her peeled off, but uh, it's still stuck on a little bit with something. So I... Uh, I don't know what this kind of glue was, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to glue this back on after. Silicone maybe. Silicone has a tendency to kind of tear though, so once you get it on it might and then peel open again. But uh, I'm thinking construction adhesive. That'll glue her down. And this seat's worth it still because it's still in fairly decent condition. There's only one spot here that's sort of starting to fall apart. But um, anyway, so we got to get it off. And... Uh, oh towel sweet uh, down in here is a um, little cotter pin Something like that. Now, I don't know if they've improved it, but my last tractor, these, yeah, it is wore out too. These things aren't too good here and you end up getting quite a floppy seat. And that's just from from sitting on it, running it, wearing it out. I, uh, 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 hmm. Okay, that's good. Um, and these springs, as you see, they're not really, they weren't actually, they didn't actually come with this tractor. My last one had springs like this and they were great, but this, this one come with these uh, stupid hard rubber stoppery looking things and they were freaking horrible. It just killed my back. There was no spring to it, right? Where this has a bit of give. Oh, it was just freaking nasty. So I ended up ordering a set of these and just slapping them in. And it's been good, but um, yeah, they were just a horrible design. I don't know why they changed. Cheaper, I guess, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna leave those there. Okay, let's take this in the back. And uh, unfortunately, this won't fit in my cabinet blaster, which sucks, until I get a bigger cabinet blaster, which will be awesome. But I don't know exactly where, oh. Oh, I never had that kind of a call before. That was the other funeral home in town here, we got two, calling me to ask me where the burial is for today. I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah, we got a, a call here. I guess they didn't know what funeral home was doing it. So they called and he called me on the other line and he's asking me, I'm like, oh, that's the other funeral home. Oh, okay. I'm like, okay, he didn't seem to mind, but you know, he's probably like, 
Okay, well you should know at least what funeral homes are called, but people out of town, I guess, don't know. But another bad thing is they're calling me at 12.52 and the funeral's at 1 o'clock. Better hurry up. <laughs> but anyways, happens I guess. So, shred this soft gushy piece off of here and uh, clearing a spot here so I can do that and uh, we'll start uh, seeing what else we got to tear off to get it off. All right another problem I had too with this seat is when I flip it up on the tractor so it's up like that and it rests against the steering wheel up here the water hits in here and then goes down the back of the seat and somehow it doesn't go that much. I don't know but somehow there ends up being a big puddle. Oh man that's rusty big puddle down there so when you sit on it you get a big whoosh water coming out it's kind of funny actually but kind of funny now it's sort of really funny now oh this is glued here yeah it's just glued oh it should come off but I need to get in there to push at it or it's just going to tear that foam apart uh, that's probably a little overkill, but better over than under. Man, I don't think this would be just glued on here still. Oh crap. Stay up here, you turn. We got her. Oh, that's rusty. That is going to definitely need some cleaning. Oh boy. There's even a spring here, too. Look at that. Gets that little butt support. Oh, that's for the button. Or your seat button, I see. I seat. Which I've got disconnected anyhow. So. new seat and everything for this is like 800 bucks or 900 bucks. It's freaking ridiculous. But it's funny how John Deere, and I know for a fact, prides himself, prides himself on their, their paint on the tractors, the like green and yellow. They say they want it to look just as good for the second owner as it did for the first owner. Well, I don't know what happened to their pride and their seats. But this is just horrible. <laughs> Maybe they figure, well, the seat is part. It's not going to last very long anyway, so this might as well not be that good either. But uh, we'll give this a sandblaster. I don't know if I can get that thing out of there. special push-in tool. sort of dry up a little bit before I blast it because you just make a huge mess of it's wet and I got my funeral to do soon anyways so let's see if I can get any of this last little bit of stuff off of here it'll be easier to get it off now than it will be with the blaster so it just bounces off this crap for some reason and I don't have a whole lot of sand I got maybe a well, maybe a half a pot right now in there, and I got one more bag, so that should be lots, really. But uh, once I get her cleaned, I'm going to hit her up with uh, my uh, real good self-etching primer I like to use.
actually a nice little design, but no, not rust is a bit. <laughs> All deteriorated. So the sandblaster might get most of that. I don't know. <coughs> oh, still hacking. Oh, sweet. There's like a corner piece. Corner piece. whole sheet here. Make sure you guys are in that shot. There, that's a little more better. Like a whole sheet here, almost. I should probably take this off too, but I think I'll leave it alone. Just clean all up too at the same time and then blast. Under this thing should be done too, I guess. So maybe, maybe I will pop it off. I don't know. Probably not. Sneaker would be good. This is on the most of her I want to get done right. It'd be nice if this would fit in my inside cabinet thing here, but. Uh, that's gonna happen. Not with the little desk, bench top, desktop one. Well, maybe that should come off. We've got four bolts holding that on there. Let's see what I can get for wrenches here. Handy and handy Mastercraft, even an impact, but I'll just use the regular Dewey. Whoa, I don't like these. Oh, it's turning though. Spray these things or nothing. I don't know, using these forks bits, they make me so nervous. And they strip them so easily. I have no idea why they ever invented these things. Maybe for some special reason, but I guess maybe not everybody would have one of these, so, but on this, I don't know why it matters. At least these bits I can get in. Probably a good idea that I do separate these and do all these two, just because they will rust from under there again, or keep rusting. In no time, it'll be like a rotten hole through it. Okay, that and that. Actually, the stuff. Well, that's not so super good, but this stuff under here is good. But I bet you it'll peel right off. See here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yep, yeah, pretty much. One whole sheet. <laughs> wow. Okay, she's ready to blast. So, I better go do my funeral stuff and then uh, maybe I can 
maybe I can do it today. I don't know. We'll see how time is. Like I say, the wife's got some plans for me, and that's going to involve heading over to the Princess Autoway, so I might as well get my hoses fixed then, too. All right, well, funeral's all done. Thank goodness, it's all done. It's crappy weather out there today, so. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> I'm having real big second thoughts of doing this with my uh, outside sandblaster. I really don't like using that thing a whole lot, so uh, uh, we're gonna head over to Princess Auto after the kitties get home, so this is still kind of wettish anyways. Man, it's, hopefully it's all right. It should blast out all right and not blast through it. That would suck. Um, anyways, just looking at this over here, this is my bench top cabinet, right? There's no way that's going to fit in there. Definitely not. So I'm kind of thinking, maybe if I pull all this stuff out and uh, find homes for everything else, we could see what kind of a, maybe we'll get one of the big upright blaster cabinets. It's a lot bigger, which pretty much fill this whole area, but uh, <clears throat> it's, this is just basically a, a lathe table, I think, that my father-in-law had made up way back for holding his lathe and stuff, which, you know, really I don't need there other than holding up this sandblast cabinet thing, this little guy, benchtop one, so <clears throat> we might see what they have available over today at Princess Auto, and uh, possibly, maybe, maybe, possibly bringing one home. I don't know yet. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to get all this stuff yoinked out of here just to see uh, how we're looking I think well we're getting her boys we're just dumping the sand out of this guy to make it a little bit lighter to carry because uh, all the sand yeah she weighs she weighs quite a bit so this will make it a little bit easier plus anyways this stuff needed cleaned anyways it's pretty pretty crumbly up it's all got all the crap in it from all the blastings, you know, pieces of crap, pieces of, you know, all the crap, like it's blasted off, rust, paint, maybe almost enough room maybe just maybe uh, gonna need a little bit of room to assemble but I can make that easy I just have to move a little more stuff but uh, I know because it comes in like a big flat box then you got to put all the sides and panels and stuff together so <sighs> that's the only sucky part but that should be I'm gonna come from the compressor probably over about here so that should be all right okay got my hoses will travel to Princess Auto and uh, hopefully they got those fittings. If not, he'll probably tell me, oh, I don't have them in that size of hose. Well, huh, okay. So I'll maybe have to get whole new hoses made up. Who friggin' knows? But anyways, uh, let's get at her. Oh, might need that front tire a little straighter there, bud. Holy crap, on the way to Princess, yeehaw. Holy man, welcome to Zoo Market. Not new market. We are turning left here for the light that's way, way, way the heck up there. Holy crap. And it's only like a three second light and then it changes the other way. So it's like, you gotta get on or you're gonna be waiting. I'll count how many times from when we actually stop here that the light changes until we actually get to go through here. Yay, four green arrows, holy crap. <laughs> Man, that corner's getting wicked busy. Of course, it's Friday evening too, so. Uh, so we just gotta go up here, around this big hill thing, and around another bend and another long stupid road that used to be 
a nice road in the middle of nowhere. Now it's just like a friggin' zoo road. So uh, it kind of sucks traveling across there. So I always used to go this way and it was so much quieter, but uh, not so much anymore. It sucks because they put a big Costco and a big Walmart and all that crap down there too. So houses apparently. Holy jumping, this is just tar turning terrible. Poor cows, they're gonna be gone probably in the next couple years. Be all subdivision there too. Looks like they're slapping another one in here. They got their little sales office thingies, and looks like you could buy a house all ready to slate out, and away you go. Now there's a couple going in the way over there already. Far, far off. Man, the houses they've been putting in this area in the last five years is just insanely ridiculous. I mean, look at these cars. Holy friggin' crap. This used to be a road with, like, no no cars on it now it's just like you can't even drive down here now it's like the middle of the bloody city well that's another good question because all these doinks are turning to go left down here does light it's a good thing their driveways are way the frick down here because I can hopefully schweister myself into the thing here because holy crap what is more construction this is insane and their driveway is like a real humped up driveway thing there so you can't really hammer it too hard at the driveway it'll be up going on the bottom my goodness the cars here though is just ridiculous they're endless like you think sometime or other there's got to be an end to them but holy crap I wouldn't think so not right now oh well we're here I guess oh there it is boys and the new hoses too. Brand new with the new types of fittings that I like. Swivelly and they go no messing about. That'd be more than more awesome than these stupid things were. Freaking junk. But anyways, a few more stops. I don't think I'll get to putting this thing together today, so but anyways, maybe through the weekend and then we'll blast Monday or something. I don't know, we'll see. Well, we're almost out of time today for putting together a sandblaster counter, but anyways, we're gonna stop for a bite to eat and check out this license plate I found here. That's kinda, kinda cool. <laughs> Wonder if he owns a car wash or, I don't know, we'll have to see how dirty his car is, I guess. That's neat, never seen one that unique before. Well, I guess she's a little bit too late for putting this thing together. <laughs> it's actually only about 8.30 believe it or not, but uh, freaking dark early now, this sucks. It's like pitch black, 8.30. Soon enough it'll be, you know, five, 10 after five, quarter after five, pitch black. But anyways, I guess we'll just go and put them in the garage for tonight. We'll assemble them, you know, sometime soonish. I don't know whether it'll be this weekend or not, maybe, maybe a bit tomorrow. Waiting for my funeral to come in or something. So, get unloaded here and get her inside and uh, show you what we're looking at. All right, well, let's crack her open. I picked one there, they had two. They had one that was taped closed. I'm like, I don't, I don't like that idea. Holy crap. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of work to do, boys. Well, I'm gonna have a lot of work to do. There's the front door. Hopefully somewhere in there is a manual. Pretty sure there will be somewhere. But uh well, that's supposed to be bent like that, but cheap metal, right? Oh, I'll have to get it all out Monday there or something. Or on the weekend. Finger it all out. And uh, see if we can throw it together. That sort of looks like the rack. I don't know. Not too sure what that piece is, but I'll see if I can just dig out some manual here, maybe. Oh, I found the manual, and uh, it's. I'll look at it in a sec, but check this out. Holy. Package of bolts and nuts and locker deweys and nozzle deweys and some more nuts and bolts. And oh man, that's a lot of nuts and bolts. It's like a whole uh, blister packy thing of bolts. Kind of cool, you know. It's a good way to do it. Anyways, let's have a quick look at this. Now I'm heading her home. Sure looks like a lot of Chinese to me. 
these lovely exploded pictures. That's your funnel thing on the bottom. I think I got some of them pulled out. Looks like I got this piece and this piece pulled out right now. So that makes your funnel thing down here. And uh, that's, uh, that's just, the, I guess that's the rest of her there. Her cabinet installation. A million bolts. And there she is all exploded apart. Now this thing it doesn't come with a light, it doesn't come with, you know, just the bare basics. Well, that's it. Huh. Okay, well that should be interesting. Well, I guess we'll just take a little tour around before we lock the gate up. Make sure there's nobody back here partying or anything they shouldn't be doing. And yes, I have caught people back here doing things that they shouldn't have been doing. On the hood of a car, we'll say, and that's enough of that. <laughs> Broad daylight, too. Couldn't believe it. But anyways, uh, so, kind of got to look for uh, taillights and stuff shining, but so you can see all the shiny solar lights out here. Uh, hang on, I'll get a shot of the rest of that section. Just got to go up left here, up by the lake. Sometimes people can hide themselves up in there pretty good. Yeah, the solar lights out here now are just insane. How many solar lights people have? Holy jumping. When that solar light market took off, it took off, you know, and it became kind of a lot cheaper and people were able to afford the, the solar lights and when the one they first, first came out, they were wicked expensive. Wicked expensive. I don't see anybody doing things back here they shouldn't be doing. So you can see all the solar lights up there. If I could turn my lights off, I would. Sort of helps a little bit, but. Well, oh, can't turn them off, sorry. They, uh, there's a lot of them though, mostly in this section straight ahead of us here. Um, yeah, you start to see them glowing a bit. There isn't much, so much back in these areas because this is all like older spots where nobody really comes anymore to visit or nothing, you know, or it's all pitch black. Now those lights you're seeing over there, that's the town. <laughs> those aren't solar, so there's a few solars through here. You can sort of see them, it's a little fuzzly, but. Oh, there's a couple old sections up here you won't see nothing, it's just pitch black. Probably hasn't been people visiting for 50, 60 years, maybe, you know. But, uh, oh, look at those. Sorry for the blurriness. It just has nothing really to focus on right now. I can't lock the focus, I don't think, on this camera. So it finds something it wants to kind of focus on. Away she goes, right? And it tries to, tries to focus on it. But I've not even seen any wildlife back here. Sometimes you'll have raccoons or skunks or. Like this section here, there's like nothing. Pitch black. Pitch black. This one and the next one here will be pretty dark. And the next one right up to the front actually too will be pretty much right dark. There's nobody coming on these old sections anymore. Nobody, nobody left I guess. All the families either long gone or moved away and they just don't bother coming. But you can see, see way over there. Uh, freaking hang on. See all the lights away over there again now in the bigger populated area. It's like a little mini village kind of town thing. I don't know if I can do anything with zoom. No. Horribly zoomed. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll head her out. I really need to refocus my light on the left here. I found when I had it apart there and stuff, whoever put it back in, they didn't, it's just like a pin that drops through from the top to the bottom of the light fixture holder. And the bottom wasn't um, attached and it looked fine on the front. Um, like with the, the grill and everything, it looked fine. But actually, if you have it pinned both sides, it's actually tilted way in a lot. So as you can see, it's kind of pointing straight down. So I, I need to get in there and uh, spray some stuff on the little adjuster. I think it's going to end up breaking, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. So, we shall go lock the gate now.
uh, sorry today's video wasn't super awesome exciting but uh, it's just the way she worked out you know so and I can't really see anything so we're grabbing the left gate here now and now we're grabbing the right gate uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Good, nobody can get out now. So, we'll go park her for the night and call her a day. There's a wire too I got for running to the shed whenever uh, we get to that part. Um, that's a 10, 10, no, 12 2. Crap, I can't remember now. I'm gonna have to look at it. Hang on. Holy crap, I did get 10 gauge, that's right. He didn't have any 12, 14's way too light. 12, I was like, meh. Didn't have anybody had uh, some of this 10 still. So, uh, I went with that. It's probably a little more beefier than I need, but uh, where the heck's the freaking end of it here? I know there was an end somewhere, but he's got it taped up so good there. So yeah, that's pretty thick, beefy stuff. That should be enough for a few lights, eh? And that's apparently the underground stuff, even though it looks different to me, but it's a thicker coating here. I guess they're not so concerned about the other outside jacketed stuff, but uh, I don't know. I, that's what he said, is underground stuff. It probably does say on it somewhere too. I can't read her in this dark. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know, I don't know. That's what he said though, so I'm like, okay. Pretty sure all that black stuff is, the outside coating is, but um, I don't know. But anyways, I'm heading in. Have a good night. We'll catch you Monday, tomorrow, well, Saturday. This will probably get up on Saturday too, but anyways, farms on Saturday. Hope you enjoyed her, or if you haven't watched it yet, hope you enjoy her, enjoy it. So, uh, but anyways, that's it for tonight. We'll catch you. Monday, have a good uh, weekend and stuff. Supposed to rain like crazy all weekend here, so figures. But uh, we'll catch you later. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching, and see you Monday.